Welcome back. Uh, today's cook's going to be based around eggs. So fresh eggs from the egg shed. Shed, just one of the local places here on the central coast. We can just walk up right up to the bar, effectively the barn door, and get uh, and get fresh eggs as they're being packed. So, being egg based, it's something that uh, I'm making for Oliver because he loves his eggs. He loves scrambled eggs. He loves poached eggs. He loves fried eggs. Eggs on toast. Eggs in toast. And always ask for eggs. So I want to make something that is just something that's a little bit that's convenient. So it's going to be in the fridge, and you just pick, take a piece out and um, you know warm it up for him. But it's also going to have you know more things in it, more vegetables, etc., for him to to have. So there's a, an array of ingredients here on the bench. Some to make the pastry, and then some to make the the filling. So to make the pastry, I've got 110 grams of butter. I've chopped it up ready because I have to work it through through the uh, through the flour. There's 170 grams of flour, so I've already weighed those out. Let's put those to the side for the minute. Uh, I've then got uh, 50 grams of butter, which I'm going to saute uh, Swiss brown mushrooms. There's probably a cup, cup and a half there of sliced mushrooms. I've got a uh, silver beet, all sliced up, washed and sliced up, ready to go into the pan. Normally you could use leeks, but today I'm using spring onion. And because it's spring onion, you know, kind of part way between leek and, and, you know, and using a full onion, I've used two really large spring onions. So you could probably use three large spring onions, and that's going to substitute using leek and, and onion in today's cook. Uh, as always, garlic. So it's just one clove of garlic or one teaspoon of crushed garlic. Got thyme. So that's about a tablespoon of dried uh, thyme. And I've got the uh, seasoning, so I've got the, the cracked pepper, and then I've got the salt there as well. Um, also for the mix, I have uh, 125 mils or half a cup of cream sitting here, which will get the eggs mixed in there. So what we'll do is we'll get on to making the pastry, um, and then after the pastry, we'll sweat down the onions and the, the, the spinach, um, and then by the time all that's done, the pastry should have rested. We'll roll it out, put it in the tin, mix it all together, mix the eggs and the cream together, and then we'll get it in the oven. So, let's get started. It's time to sweat down our uh, vegetables that are going to go into the quiche. So, pans on, it's just started heating up. I'm going to put our 50 grams of butter in there. Get that mixed around, you can see it's just foaming up nicely already. We'll add our garlic. We'll get our thyme in now, because I want it to kind of soak in that butter just before it disappears in the actual saute mix. We'll get that over there. Just a little bit of pinch of pepper. And a pinch of salt in there as well. Let's get that mixed around. There we go, look at that. Mm. Smells good already. Alright, so in goes the spinach, the silver beet, spring onions. We'll let these guys work down a little bit. And say so it's going to look like a lot in the pot to start off with, but once it sweats down and the you know, sautés down, It'll actually lose a lot of that volume and be a lot smaller, you know, a lot, lot less dense. So we haven't added the mushrooms as yet. We'll do that once it sweats down a little bit because this is just going to take a little bit and we don't want to lose too much flavour out of these Swiss browns. Add a little bit more salt. All right, we'll come back to it in a minute after it's... Uh, Sweat it down quite quite a bit. It's now sweated down quite a bit. As you can see, it's lost the volume when it was like right up to the top of the pan. So we're going to add in mushroom, mix that through. Okay. Maybe just a pinch more salt and a pinch or two of pepper. Alright, turn the heat down, 
and just let those guys get to know each other. You don't need to cook the mushrooms all the way through, just a bit of heat into them because once it goes into the uh, actual egg base mixture and then goes in the oven, it will finish off the cooking when it's part of the quiche. So, so I've turned the heat down, just let it sit for a couple of minutes, um, stirring occasionally and then uh, soon it'll be ready to then mix with the uh, egg mixture once it cools off a little and then into the um, into the pastry and then in the oven. It's time to make the pastry. So we've got our 170 grams of plain flour. Put that in there. And then we're going to add our chopped butter. And so what we need to do is work it with your fingers, make sure you've got clean fingers. And we're just going to work the butter and the flour together basically until it creates a fine crumble. By cutting it up, it just helps you break it up rather than putting large pieces in there because if effectively what you're trying to make is like a breadcrumb uh, style mixture or, or consistency with your flour before you then add your egg yolk uh, from one of your eggs and then um, obviously the, um, uh, you know, a little tablespoon of water and salt. So it doesn't take too long to, to do this. So we'll come back to it once it's done. Finish crumbly in the mixture. I say it's nice and crumbly there. So what we need to do now is separate an egg yolk. So just off to the side. There we go. Nicely separated. There goes one egg yolk into there. And I've forgotten the salt. Pinch of salt and a little bit of water. So we're going to mix this up get it into a nice dough and then once it's in the dough once it's formed everything is incorporated nice and sticky but they're going to put it in some plastic wrap say hi Oliver hi Oliver yeah soon this will be for you and then We'll put it in some plastic wrap, and yeah, it's all incorporated nicely. So we're going to put this in, in plastic wrap, put it in the oven for, well not the oven, sorry, the fridge, uh, for about half an hour to an hour just to let it chill, and then uh, get it out, roll it out onto the pan tin which is waiting there, and then add all the other mixtures uh, to it and get it in the oven, because I'm sure Oliver will be very hungry by the time he uh, wants to eat this. So the dough has now rested in the fridge and it's time to roll it out. I've just lightly floured the surface down here. The flat on there, got it on the roller as well. I'm just going to gently roll it out. Make sure there's lots of flour. I'm going to roll it out and then I'm going to put it on the tin. So, so I've rolled out the pastry and I have put it into the actual um, case. So I've pressed it all in there. It is very brittle, so you will be pressing a bit in there and using the little bits just to top it all up. I've just kind of perforated the bottom. I've actually run a meat cleaver over it rather than just a fork. And so now it's time to blind bake it. So just a bit of parchment paper, so both some baking paper. And then just something to weigh it down. So I'm just going to use some rice, just spread it out. Alright, and now it's just going to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for, you know, around about, uh, about 10 minutes just to get the crust going and then we'll get all the ingredients in it and then bake it for another 10 minutes. So let's get this in the oven so that we can finish this thing off. The pastry is now blind baked in the oven. I've just put it on a bigger tray for this next bit because I just want to be able to carry it without tipping it. So now that it's blind baked, it's time to put the filling in. Get our spinach mixture. How does it look, Oliver? Yummy? It smells yummy. I was too busy watching the iPad. So we'll get the mixture in. Try not to put too much liquid uh, in there because it's going to be a little bit that's deposited in the bowl. Those mushrooms and spinach in there. Space it out. Now yeah, it's time to pour in our egg and cream mixture which I've mixed up. So that's the three other eggs. 
Remember we started with four eggs, used the yolk one. I actually put the white in here just to give a little extra volume. That's the cream and the eggs mixed in. And this is why I put it on a bigger tray, because so now it's gone all the way to the edges. Look at that. The egg? Yeah. You're going to be ready for this, Oliver? This is going to, going to be nice and yummy for you. All right, so that's done. Click wipe with the hands. So now we're going to put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And when it comes out, it should be just nicely golden on top. So let's go get it in the oven, and we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. So it's nicely cooked. It's come out of the oven. Beautiful, nice and hot. Nice little colour on the outside. So just going to let this cool. And then once it's cooled, I'll take it out and then we'll have a look at it in all its glory outside of the tin. So now it's out of the tin. It's just turned out beautifully. Nice little, little colour on the crust. <clears throat> Beautiful and firm. Almost looks like a bit of, bit of artwork with the, uh, the spinach and the, the mushrooms, etc. So nice and tasty. Sure, Oliver's going to love this. So have a crack at it.